Hello, this is Mike Lively, and this is the second video in a series of four on databasing in Flash Builder. And last time we took a look at CRUD, and I told you to forget Flex 2 and Flex 3 the way that was done, because now in Flash Builder we use tokens and value objects. And today we're actually going to look at how we're going to get that working locally using the MAMP, LAMP or WAMP servers. Now LAMP is for Linux, MAMP is for Mac, and WAMP is for Windows. And today we're going to talk about installing and uh, the use for local development, overview of ports, and tell you to turn off Skype because it can interfere with your WAMP server. We'll look at your root or your www where all your folders are kept. Uh, talk about the holy grail of um, databasing, uh, how you create your databases very simply just through drag and drop in an, an, a graphical interface called PHP My Admin, and then we'll build a database. Probably not in this video, but in the next video. We're just going to do an overview of WAMP in this particular series. So, so to get LAMP, MAMP, or WAMP installed, what you want to do is go to Google and just type in uh, in the search bar WAMP, MAMP, or LAMP. And when you do, it's going to take you to uh, a site, and I actually went for WAMP in this particular case. And I just clicked on uh, Download WAMP, and I got www.wampserver.com forward slash en for English. And here's what the site looks like. Now, I'm going to tell you, it is so easy to install this software. I pretty much just downloaded it, hit the executable, and installed, installed, installed. And when I installed, it installs in what's called uh, on your C drive in a WAMP folder. Let's take a look at that real quick. So I'm in my C directory, and there's my WAMP installation. And right there is my www. That's my root folder. And that's where all my applications are going to be kept. In this particular case, uh, our application is called a new flex day. And if I click on that, uh, there's all the uh, applications for my debug uh, folder. And there's my services uh, software, and that's what's created uh, when I actually connect Flex to the database and uh, use the uh, PHP wizard, data wizard. And that's going to give you all your CRUD, uh, and we'll be taking a detailed look at that in the next uh, few series. Uh, but for now, let's just take a look and see what happens after you installed uh, WAMP, MAMP, or LAMP. Now, what you should see after you install it is a little system icon right here in your system tray. And there it is right there, and I'll click on that, and you get this nice little menu right here. And this is wonderful. And one thing I want to look at real quick is you may have problems with your installation. It may not work. Now, typically, it just works right away, but there may be a reason why it not, might not. And the main reason might be is that there's a port conflict. In this particular uh, uh, application, my Apache server is listening on port 80, but you may have something else on port 80, like, for example, turn off Skype because it's going to interfere with it. But besides that, you may have another application running on port 80. So if you have to change that port, what you can do here is go to your Apache server and come over here to the http.d.config file. Click on that. And right here, you're going to see your down here on this line right here is listen 80. That's, where I'm, that's the port I'm listening to. So you can change that. So you can actually change your port that you listen on. Just be careful. Uh, but uh, you may have to go in here and change this to get your MAMP server working. That's the biggest conflict that I've ever experienced. Besides that, uh, this just works like a dream. Another thing you want to be aware of, of course, is where your uh, MySQL server is uh, actually uh, listing, what its port is. So just go to MySQL and click on the INI file. And when you do, uh, there it is right there, port 3306. You're going to need that number when you connect to it in the Flash Builder. So I just want to make those two important files there, the INI and the config file for the Apache that you might need to work with in your application. So we looked at ports and turning off Skype and we talked about where the root is. Let's just look at the MAMP server just a little bit more. So click on that and localhost is where your best friend because it's going to show your server configuration right there. You scroll down a little bit, there's your uh, PHP info and your PHP my admin. We're going to look at my admin just here in a moment. And scroll down a little bit more Excuse me, I have to move things around. And there's where all your projects are. And if you click on that, uh, a new uh, Flex Day, that's, that's all your applications right there. So this is a very handy tool. You can basically see if it's essentially uh, you've got the right folders being put in there. Typically, I, I have a download system I was working with, and I can come back and look and see if the actual uh, images or uh, resources were uploaded to, the, to the, the upload or download system. So it's very useful. Uh, the other most useful... Uh, application here of course is going to be PHP my admin let's click on that so we're on PHP my admin let me show you real quick here you can see it's in the local host slash PHP my admin and this absolutely is the most useful tool when it comes to creating databases 
Uh, when I first started learning databasing, I was just shocked that it had all this, you know, very confusing because the way they start you off is you start typing in code in the uh, command line. And I go, oh, that's not going to work for me. And that's how people create databases. But you don't need that because you can do it in PHP My Admin. And then if you want to get that code, you can actually export it right here and actually see what you created and it'll give you this the SQL language. So it's the easiest way to get into creating databases. If you want to create a database, all you do is type in a new database right here. Okay. Hit create and then give it the number of fields that you want and you have a database. So in the next uh, video, we're actually going to use phpMyAdmin to create a database for this tutorial and then we're going to connect that database to Flash Builder. Now one more thing to be aware of is you need to make sure that your uh, WAMP, MAMP, or LAMP server is running. So if you click on this icon right here, you have start services, stop services, restart service, and put offline or online. Make sure that you're, you're, you're running. You can go over to your uh, icons right here. And you should be able to click on this, and there should be the MAMP server somewhere in programs. And there's my WAMP server. If I click on that, it says start WAMP server. That will start your WAMP server up. And if you're on Windows, for example, it may ask you to allow it. So I, I had to give it permission to start up what I told, already told it to start up. And you can come over here to this icon tray just to make sure that your services are running. Every once in a while, I have to restart my services to make sure that everything's right. Uh, otherwise, you want to make sure that you're online too. So you want to make sure you put online. And you can have a conflict here sometimes as well. Sometimes it doesn't like what's going on with Windows. Sometimes it's not happy with Firefox, you might want to switch to Internet Explorer or whatever. I mean, it's just whatever works for your system, and, and that's, that's pretty much trial and error for me sometimes. But this is an extremely helpful panel, so make sure if something's not working that your server is online and that it is, and since restart all the services to, to make sure everything is running. So that's pretty much all there is to it. Very, very wonderful, easy system to use. Makes it using the PHP My Admin and this uh, WAMP, MAMP, or LAMP server just enables you to get right into programming databases very rapidly without the expensive overhead that many times people have to pay. So uh, next time we're going to create our first database.